all three of you for being interviewed um, and for participating in my projects. This has been really, really cool for me, so thank you. Um, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> froggies. <clears throat> so today, um, mostly what I want to do is um, talk about some of the things that I've noticed, some of the trends after talking to you ladies for the past two months. Um, and then see if there's any other things that you want to tell me about practicing. So mostly like wrap up kind of stuff, which is why all three of you here together. <coughs> um, before we do that, um, so ideally I would have had all of your transcripts typed up before now, but like you, I'm behind, <laughs> so I don't, um. And, so, and like I told Gayatri, I'm not sure I'm really supposed to do things over email, but once I get things sort of typed up and have your little descriptions of you typed up, do you want a chance to read over them and yeah. give me some comments on them? I think that'd be cool. Okay. I don't know so. what I said. I don't know if I said something like whiskey, so I don't know what I said. Yeah, which is, which is the point of having you sort of read over things. If there's anything that you're like, whoa, like, I don't want people to, you know, even though your name's not on it. So, are you okay with trading email addresses with me? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, that way I can't, it'll be sometime over the summer. I don't guarantee how soon it will be finished, so you may be, like, headed off to college doing your thing. Um, but if you, if you don't mind, I'd, I'd like it if you had a chance to read over them. When would you need that by, like, because I'm in India for three weeks, I don't know if I have, like... Like the next three weeks? No, like in summer. Oh, in the summer? Yeah. Really, the likelihood of me even starting to type things up in the next month is, like, zero. <laughs> um, because... I don't, know, I don't know what you guys know about doctoral programs, like I didn't know hardly anything when I was your age, but um, after you do your, your coursework, you do what they call a competency exam, which is basically like a month of writing papers. Nice. So I start that on Monday. <laughs> so I will only be writing these papers and not working on this project at all for the next month. So, and then it'll probably take me a while. So my guess is it probably wouldn't even be till like July or maybe August okay. before I get to it. And then even if, if you were in India, just send it to me when you get back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I will, but I'm not sure. Yeah. So, why don't, let's see, let's do two things. Because I, I want to give you a chance to um, read them. And then I also, when I write it up, I, don't, I, I will use a pseudonym. So hopefully you've had a chance to think of what you want your fake name to be. I oh, your, yes. your rock star name. So, why don't you put... Put your real name. <laughs> Bad. Let's turn on this sheet of paper. Put your real name and your email address and then your pseudonym. I don't, I don't know. So it's a little thick. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so, and then. Why don't we. Oh, I can't tell you. I, you can't tell me. No, you'll see it moving fast. Oh, that's true. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm extremely out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're fun. Okay, so here here are some things that um Cool. Um that I was noticing just in what all of you told me over the past couple months. Um so just give me give me your thoughts on them. So it seemed like sectionals or one of the ways that you learn how to practice or sort of practice practicing. Yeah. That is there anything yeah. anything else about sectionals that seems helpful or why you think that they are helpful? Well it's kinda like it helps kind of save time during our like other rehearsals. Hey, that's my mom's name. Oh, can anyway, I can't, I can't do an Indian name. They can't trace it back to me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I mean, you could if you wanted. I think there's quite a few people with yeah, Indian names, that's but fine. but if you want to, like, totally make one up. Did I need a last name? 
No. You could truly just keep mm. my last name, like <laughs> Smith. <laughs> <laughs> they would think I made it up, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, it's just um one of the things that it helps kind of like save time. Like if there's something that specifically the cellos aren't getting or like need help on, we can work on it then instead of having to do it in rehearsal and let everyone and like everyone else is just sitting there. It's just um it it um helps like the orchestra overall. Because then, it's, yeah, it gives you a better understanding of your part, and you can, like, yeah. It's more of a focus on your part, so then when you're in orchestra, you can focus more on how the parts intertwine. And that's kind of, like, practicing also is, like, your part individually. So then orchestra rehearsals can be more, like, how the parts fit together and stuff like that. Yeah, sorry. I talked a lot. That's cool. You're that's fine. Right. <laughs> um... What I really like about sectionals is um, a lot of the times, like, Avery or Miss Ellis, whoever's, like, leading our sectional, if we are having problems, they'll, like, tell us, oh, maybe you should try this. Mm -hmm. And so, and that's really helpful when you go home and you're like, ah, this section that we also practice in sectionals. Well, I already know a way that would help me with this. So it's nice to get, like, even if it's not specific, like, here's a practice strategy. You just, like, listen and say, this helped me, so I'll try it again when I'm doing individual practice. So it sort of helps you match up a problem, <coughs> identify a problem, yeah. and then match it up with a strategy. Did mm -hmm. you practice with that? Yeah. Cool. You don't have to answer anything, by the way. <laughs> I think, I don't know. Same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you can jump around. You don't always have to go in order, by the way. <laughs> um, so it also seemed like it was helpful to have a list of ways to practice, the practice strategies that... So I think specifically that go-to practice strategy sheet. Um, is, that, is that sort of accurate? Um, well, yeah, I feel like... Well, for me personally, it wasn't very, like, game-changing because I had already, like heard of those things from other places, but I feel like for someone who may, like, maybe didn't know how to practice, mm -hmm. that would be helpful, or someone who hadn't been exposed to um, techniques or stuff like that before, that would be helpful. But for me personally, I, it wasn't groundbreaking. So maybe more useful for someone who's not taking lessons, or who's not... Um, or, yeah, who's someone who doesn't um, already practice pretty regularly, or someone who may be practicing, but it's not showing. It's kind of one of those things that's like, yeah, I guess it works better for um, people who, I don't know, who need it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It was helpful for me, and, like, I guess, because, like, when I was in middle school and I didn't have a private teacher, I would like play through the piece and I'd be like, okay, I'm done now. Yeah. I didn't like, like pick out spots or like um, certain strategies to do them. But like as we did more things in orchestra, like I feel like I was like, okay, this is how we're doing at school. Now I can try to do that individually, mm -hmm. which also worked with the practice strategies because I didn't think about some of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were there any ones in particular that, that are on that list that you're like, oh, I, I never know. thought of this? I never thought about changing the rhythm to, mm. like, a certain, like, um, spot to get, like, the notes, like, in your fingers. Like, I didn't think of that. Okay. And I never did finger patterns either. I was, I just did not do anything. Agree. Yeah. What, what about the finger patterns? Um, like, how we, if we're, if we're in a key, like, we'll, like, go on each string and, like, cool. say, like, one, two, if there's a half step between. Uh -huh. Like go over the finger pattern. Okay. So you're identifying what pattern you're actually using. Cool. Yeah, um, like I don't have a private teacher, so a lot of my practicing would be, you know, just the same thing over and over again, like playing through the whole piece or even like, okay, let me play these two measures that give me trouble over and over again. Mm -hmm. But then having that strategy, I was able to say, okay, let me see here what I need to do. Maybe one of these will help. And then even if that strategy became like monotonous, then I would say, okay, let's find another one. So it was just nice to have that there to change things up. So it helped because it gave you lots of strategies, but also gave you variety? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's like a good amount of stuff under like each um, thing you could be working for. It was nice in that way. That's cool.
We haven't really talked about that. How important do you think having lots of variety in your practice